you are just joining us, we'd like to recap our breaking news for you this afternoon, and that is of the death of Dr. Chris Kirubi, who's an entrepreneur, industrialist, and media owner, the chairman of Capital Group Limited, who died at 1 p.m. this afternoon, according to his family, surrounded by members of his family at the time. And there are some of those pictures there. Um, let's just remind you a little bit about um, the fact that uh, Chris Kirubi was diagnosed with cancer in 2017, went to the United States for a couple of months seeking treatment. And he died at the age of 80, having been born in 1941 in Moranga District, born Christopher John Kirubi. And his earlier years talk of his uh, education, being an al alumnus of these various institutions, including the Harvard Business School in the United States of America. Um, and if I'm not wrong, he actually uh, did serve um, as uh, on the Harvard Global Advisory Council with a view to advising the institution on education matters of Africa. And this was um, at the time of his passing. And as you can see, he was also conferred with an honorary philosophical doctorate in entrepreneurship by the SMA University in Switzerland. Now, um, like we said, his career began in the early 1970s, but of course in the 1960s, he worked at Kenatco, which is a government-owned transportation company. And then his venture into real estate began in 1971 with the purchase of a rundown property in Nairobi, giving it a facelift, making a good profit, and the rest, as they say, is history with his investments in real estate. Um, and there's a um, a statement here that's also been put out by Centum Investment Company, where he was a shareholder and director. And they talk about his investments in various sectors of the economy, manufacturing, media, real estate, insurance, and investments. Dying at the age of 80, and of course there's been some reactions to his passing as well. Here's a tweet from Raila Odinga Odium leader saying, Chris Kirubi was my friend and one to many others and a mentor to even more. He was a dedicated entrepreneur and philanthropist who helped scores of Kenyans over time. My heartfelt condolences to his family, friends, and all those whose lives he touched. Rest in peace, Chris. And then we have another one from Musalia Mudavadi from the Amani uh, party. Uh, sending his condolences to the family of the late Chris Kirubi. He was an illustrious businessman who spoke candidly on matters of national importance and the economy. A true patriot who told you as it is without blinking. Over and above that, he was witty, humorous, and an avid golfer. Um, Dr. Wickliffe Oparanya, governor, says my heartfelt condolences to the family and friends of Mr. Chris Kirubi. Death has robbed our country, a hardworking and industrious entrepreneur who impacted positively and touched the lives of many. May his soul rest in eternal peace. And uh, Senator Moses Watangula also um, weighing in on this um, and uh, quoting him as a great indigenous entrepreneur who made a difference in many people's lives. May his soul rest in peace. I think we have one more from Millicent Omanga. She says, go well, Chris Kirubi, a good and amiable man. You'll be greatly missed. Rest in peace. Now, there's a tweet um, here that may have been the last, and this came from... Dr. Chris Kirubi's Twitter account this morning at 8.34. Um, and he said, um, top of the morning to you, my dear friend, it doesn't have to be a tiring Monday. Instead, I bring to you good tidings of favor, success, achievements, and happiness in the new week. Give yourself a go towards your success plan. Enjoy today and the rest of your week. That is the last tweet from Dr. Kirubi's account at 8.34 this morning. Seems to have been the last tweet from him on that. Um, so, of course, pouring tributes uh, continue to come in uh, following his death at the age of 80, leaving behind two children, Mary Musangi and Robert Kirubi. We'll continue to update you on the very latest on that. Thank you so much for joining us here on this update. We'll have